Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel. This will be your weekly segment, a four card reading, having a look to draw out some messages that may be helpful for you for the next seven days. Wait and see what the weekly theme is for the sign of Pisces for the next seven days. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or if you're heavily dominated by Pisces elements in your chart, this reading may be insightful for you. Okay, you do have enlightenment. Evolution is guaranteed. You're waking up from old habits and patterns. Um, you're becoming more enlightened here, Pisces, or you're actually enlightening people around you. This is you evolving in a very powerful way in the upcoming week. Okay, some of you might be feeling some sort of resistance to this enlightenment or resistance to change. But I almost feel like you can see in the imagery here, there's going to be a source, like a catalyst, if you will, that's going to spark change for you. That's going to help enlighten you, help bring about ideas, help you understand a certain situation that's around you. Now, um, we just have gone into that Pisces new moon. So I think you are becoming more aware, more in touch with your feelings here, Pisces. Um, instead of undergoing that mysterious, somewhat vague energy that sometimes often um, accompanies you, Pisces, you're coming into clarity and fluidity. You've got the higher advantage here. You're seeing all the components of something for what it really is and then forming a conclusion. So it's time to be patient. There can be an unbalanced, um, an unbalanced memory or event that may create trauma every time it's remembered or talked about, but it actually points to healing and balance um, because uh, I think you're coming into a certain charge. It almost looks like an atom here. You've got the flowers of creation, what looks like an atom here, and it's just, it's enlightenment on a very, um, on a very intricate level that's going to occur for you. Okay, so it could be you changing and healing your opinion about something and someone because of all the facts um, that will present themselves to you will form you'll form a conclusion here. Let's have a look and see what this applies for uh, how this applies for you, Pisces, for the upcoming week. Pisces, 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 the upcoming week. How does this apply for you? Enlightenment. Okay, Ace of Swords. Something you've been fighting for. Um, or someone that's been fighting for you here. It may be an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. You know, this is, is an element of determination that accompanies the Ace of Swords. This is fighting for something, cutting away the negativity, or cutting away the information that doesn't help us, that doesn't help us form a conclusion or a form of judgment here, Pisces. So yes, this is you coming into victory with your own thoughts. This is finally you gaining that clarity about something or someone here. It's also someone coming in that's wanting to fight for you. They're wanting to prove you wrong or they're wanting to prove something to you. And this is going to rock your world because all of a sudden we've got this wonderful victory coming in. This is the hand of God, the universe. This is the universe in all of creation here that's coming in with the Ace of Swords. For some of you, there's a new opportunity um, that's going to really shake you up here. It could be a new love, a new romance, possibly a new job, a new friendship, um, a new way of thinking, a new mode of thinking now that you're coming into that enlightened energy. And as a result, this is going to shift you into more awareness. You're going to be more in touch with everything you're attracting here. Um, this is also someone coming in that could be quite enlightened. If this is a new romance or a new friendship, this person is quite worldly. They could be foreign, well-traveled. They may have a very keen interest in the cosmos, in astrology, um, in spirituality, theology, philosophy, maybe. And this is someone coming in that's quite knowledgeable because they're coming in with the Ace of Swords. So this is someone that's obviously very open-minded, very aware, very informed, and maybe they're bringing you more information and this person is going to bring you victory. This conversation that you may have, this person could bring you the victory you're looking for. The enlightenment, you know, absolutely beautiful here, Pisces. Nine of cups, this is the wish card, the dream card. When you wish upon a star, if there's ever a sign that can make a wish come true, if there's ever a time that a wish can come true, it's in this Pisces new moon. And I think there's a abundant wishes that are coming here for you, Pisces. Your ability to create is so heightened this week, you're going to experience a plethora of things aligning in your favor. Your ducks are lined up in a row here, everything falling into place how you see it, how you visualized it. I think it comes down to information and intel from communication and sourced enlightenment from within. 
It's going to change things for you. It's going to put you on the right path. Now, this could be with a person. If you've wished for someone to encompass what I've just described, this person could be coming into your life in the form of a soulmate, a friend, an acquaintance, a companion. Um, and this is going to bring, this is going to fulfill a lot of wishes here. So yes, a wish will be fulfilled because you've acquired, whether consciously or subconsciously, Pisces, you've acquired this knowledge which is going to help you on your path in the upcoming week. It's going you it's going to help you see a 360 view of something here. Perception is everything. You're going to see something or someone for what it really is. You're going to form the conclusion that you need to that's going to help you on your path. But it is wishing, um, wishing for a journey, wishing for travel, wishing for enlightenment, wishing to be more in touch with someone, um, wishing to be more knowledgeable about a certain area um, or a certain field of study, um, willing to, wishing to be more in touch with someone. Remember, the cups is all about emotion. You're becoming emotionally enlightened. This is also epiphanies and you realizing you actually feel something for someone that you perhaps try to suppress or deny. You've tried to fight it off. You've tried to fight the feeling. You've tried to cut them out of your life, maybe. You've tried to cut this energy out of your life, but it's coming back because you've attracted it. You've manifested it on some level, Pisces. The world card. This is very, very powerful. I think you potentially have a very strong week. Absolutely beautiful. The world card is a card of completion. It's a card of victory. It's a card of feeling like you're high in the sky, feeling like there's a sense of accomplishment here or things coming to full circle. This could be in regards to the wish here. A wish, something you've asked for from the universe, from God, from spirit or from the angels, something that you've asked for is coming to completion. Your wish is going to be fulfilled. You've asked, now it's time to receive it. It's time to invite this into your life. Absolutely amazing here. The world card, this notion of the world, the power of the universe, the universe is very, um, you know, it's your vibration is tuning in with the, the intricateness of the universe here. And you're creating something, the flowers of creation. You're creating and fulfilling a wish here, Pisces. You're making it happen. And as I said, if it's ever a time, it's now. Um, the world card also rules travel. Um, it rules the heavens. It rules religion, spirituality. Um, again, the, the notion of the angel here, I think you're being divinely guided in the right direction. The, the the things that you're learning about another person maybe or the feelings that you're learning about within yourself, the feelings that are being evoked by another connection, by another person, by another um, a, a event or circumstance is really um, awakening you in a very, very powerful way. This is all about coming into the spotlight here. It's also the fact that there's a, it's worldly knowledge, it's worldly prestige. For some of you, you've been trying to fight for an opportunity or try to attract an, a certain opportunity that has proved to be quite challenging. In the upcoming week, you're going to see some changes here. International people, foreign people, international affairs, global companies, the internet may play a major role. It's connection here. It's you becoming enlightened. Now, I'm not sure if this is because of an online course or because of adventure travel plans that may, may, may bring you enlightenment to this area of your life. But you can see the world. It's just, it's a card of grace and just floating on air. Um, it, you're on cloud nine, honestly, whatever this is, it's proved challenging. It's been challenging. It's time to cut out the negativity. You're being crowned with a wonderful crown here. The fight is definitely worth it here, Pisces. So that's a very beautiful energy to have. I will leave the reading at that, though. I hope you have a fantastic week. I hope it's made sense. Um, good luck with it all. 